Today is the Lotto High School History Fair Day and we're holding it so that students learn an appreciation of history. We started in September and worked for it to today. There's a total of 14 exhibits. Each, ex each exhibit has two to three people in that. We have two documentaries that have six in those. We have three that are doing the, uh, in, in, no, two doing the play. And then um, we have a lot of other help to help put it together. We have everything from the Salem Witch Trials to Nazi Germany to our play today is going to be on the rights and responsibilities of Jack of Orkian. The importance is showing yourself, selling yourself, selling your project, and learning a little bit about history along the way. Our project was Female Fighters, a review on women's rights and responsibilities during World War II. We chose this um, because we felt it re represented the, the theme, which is rights and responsibilities, the best. During the war, the a lot of the war had started up women being, being able to get responsibilities with doing jobs and being able to go into the workforce mm. and being respected more mm. by men. My favorite part was examining the radio and the newspapers. Yeah, I think mine was the newspapers the most, mm. and then the general. Uh, we did rights and responsibilities of an immigrant from Mexico. Mm. Because in our area, we have a lot of immigrants from Mexico that contribute to our society. Uh, there are a lot of immigrants from Mexico, and the immigration process is pretty tough. Like, it takes a lot. Finishing it? Getting it done? I guess the presenting was the best part. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, the rights and responsibilities of Buffalo Soldiers. Because uh, we thought it was interesting when we were trying to figure out what to use when we came across the Buffalo Soldiers, we just thought it was kind of interesting to figure out like what they were all about. We learned that the Buffalo Soldiers at the time were not treated equal but they still have the heart and soul of any American now and forever. And to pick your partners carefully. The end. Mm -hmm. uh, they're researching. They're yeah, researching fun. because we didn't have to put anything together. It was just finding details and information. Um, the 13 years of prohibition, how the mobsters had their rights and responsibilities during the time. Because within the 13 years, a lot happens, like with Al Capone, like how he went against the law and how there was a lot of murders, like the Valentine's Day Massacre, and we just thought that popped out because not many people knew about it. I learned that, again, like with the massacre itself, that caught my eye because there's quite a few murders and how they didn't get Al Capone himself for the actual smuggling of the alcohol across borders. They got them for taxes because they had no proof. Al Capone. <laughs> he was a good monster.
let's just say I've had a lot of surprises. Mm -hmm. yes.